Hey, what's up guys? It is Cube Taco and welcome back to another video. This isn't any series I'm planning on doing. This is just a one-on-one -on -one talk. Uh so if you see, I'm on the new snapshot and I have a couple words to say about the snapshot. So we're going to name this world Snap Shit. This is not this is going to be a censored video. So you're going to see that I'm not censoring that, but, um, this is what I think of the world. So, we're gonna go into creative, okay? And I, I'm, I'm salty about it. I mean, they've ruined a lot of good mechanics that they could have had. So, I'm gonna gen up this world to see how long it takes. Well, I mean, I don't really care that it's just, like, a normal world. I just kind of want to find a plane. It's right here. It looks good. Um, apparently I can fly super fast. That's... That's uh, always been a 1.8 feature. But um, if we come here and we get a sword. A sword. See, no new swords, whatever. But attack speed. Like, come on, man. Okay, so basically, if you look, I like kind of pull the sword out, right? That sounds pretty cool, right? Oh, I forgot, I can't break that. But um, let's get a zombie. Just as an example. And um, we're going to dash time set. Um, oh, set time, my bad. Set time, 15,000. What is it then? Dash time. Time set. 15,000, there we go. Okay, my bad. That took uh, a lot longer than it should have. But um, if we place down a zombie, okay? Mr. Zombie walks around. I can't, well, I can, I can swing repeatedly, right? But this does no damage, because I have a diamond sword out, right? So you see me swinging at this zombie, he's still not dying. He's taking like half a heart of damage a hit. And um, if you come into your video settings, you can see your attack indicator, right? Because that's what that feature is. And um, I'm not saying it's bad for just Minecraft in general. Like, I'm, I, it's different. I'll give it that. So, uh, you can set it to crosshair or to hotbar. I'm going to set it to crosshair. So, uh, if you look here, right, right under the crosshair, you see this little bar. And you have to wait for that bar to get up to the top before you can start swinging and dealing full damage. So, um, if I spawn Mr. Zombie in, right? So, we know that he doesn't die if you do this. It takes, like, 50,000 hits for him to die. But, if you hit him and wait every single freaking hit he will die okay which is it's it's different it's different that's what i that's what i give it and um i'm just going to not switch the language i'm going to set it to hotbar and you see it uh, right by right to the right side of nine but um i don't like this i don't think the pvp community is gonna like this uh there's probably gonna be a couple guys and then also um whoops i I uh, accidentally shot out the zombie shield, and, um, there are shields, right? So, shields, they sound kind of interesting, right? And, um, you know, you take out your shield, we're gonna get a, uh, orange one, because my favorite color is orange at the moment, and, uh, you can right-click and you'll block, and it takes up over half your frickin' screen! Thank you! Um, but, oh, I like the skeleton AI, he looks pretty cool, he looks pretty cool, but, um, Whoa, that's a huge mountain. Anyways, let's, um, we're gonna time set it to day, okay? And, um, we're just gonna, uh, casually come up to the top here. And, um, flying up, we're gonna show you, or at least I'm gonna show you, actually, no, I should probably set that at night. That would make more sense so that they, the zombies don't die. But, um, if you place down some zombies, right? So now we got a couple zombies, and um, let's go into game mode, zero, okay? So now all the zombies are going to be after me. I can block, right? And I'll I'll throw them back, okay? It's kind of bad to do this on a mount, but uh, if the zombies do come at me, if you hold block, you will veto damage, right? 
So I'm not going to take any damage from these guys. All that's going to happen is going to be knockback. And, um, this video, I'm planning on it. Oh, oh, that kind of low, it hurts. Okay, so you do take half a heart when they do that. But still, like, that's not, like, you can sit there and only take half a heart, whereas you're going to take, like, 50 the other way. And you can't sword block, because the only way to block is with shields. So, um, if you go to block, you have to have this here, so you can do this. Because that's what block hitting is going to be. It's going to be this. This is what block hitting is going to be. All of it. That's all block hitting is going to be. I'm going to die. Like, I don't care. I like this. It kind of says that I died. Wait, what? what? Oh, t tells me what the zombie was. But, um, basically, that's just showing you guys what happened. But, um, I'm just gonna kind of fly around. I would fly around with my, uh, sword out, but that's not gonna happen. Because, uh, I can't really kill anything. It's, it's kind of sad. Um, but let's get a po uh, spectral arrow, because I like spect spectral arrows. I mean, they, they released in a snapshot before, but you can see an outline. I think that's cool, right? Like, that's interesting. That's gonna make PvP fun for, like, UHC and stuff, because, I mean, if you see that, you can see a person from behind a wall, right? So, you can still see the outline of them, so you know if they're gonna charge you or not, so you, if you can gapple. Like, that's gonna be interesting for UHC. Like, I, I'd be hyped for that. But the sword is, in my opinion, it's just messed up completely. Like, if you're going to try and kill a team like say we're gonna take pro mc games for instance right there's there's a couple teams on that server just kidding there's a lot but um say you're running around right and you're you're running around you you have your flint and steel wait i'm just gonna get my my normal hotbar right so like the hotbar i'd use for pvp so we have some armor right and not diamond armor because i'd never get diamond armor you have to map glitch for that and uh you get your flint and steel and your fishing rod and you're all you're all set to go PvP and to go kill some scrubs, and you're happy, right? You have your shield, right? So instead of doing this, your rod, your rod combo, getting that rod combo and killing them, that's not going to happen, because if you see, it might be a bug, I'm not too sure, but when you're fishing rod and you switch, you're still going to wait for that to heal up. So it's going to get rid of the fact that you could do this. You're going to have to do this. And then that gets rid of the purpose of using a rod, which has been around for a long freaking time. So now your rod's pointless. Now you can still do your flint and steel, right? Like your flint and steel. But when you go to flint and steel, it's going to be that one. And then you have to run. And basically what this is teaching you, what Minecraft is doing for like stuff like survival games, is teaching you to flint and steel and run. When you try and kill a team. I mean, normally you're supposed to run a flint and steel, right? But, if you want to go and fight a team, right? I'm pretty sure that what what's happening is you're going to have that block hit. So, like, you can deal damage to both players. That's cool, right? Like, that's going to help a bit. But it's not going to help a whole lot. Because if you can't swing like this to try and kill a team, you can't out-click them. You're going to get double-teamed. You can't do anything. You're just going to sit there getting hit. You're getting, you technically going to get out-clicked. There's nothing you can do. Normally, sometimes you can out-click a team if they don't have a good clicking speed, right? And then Minecraft, it's ma basically changing it so that, you know, auto-clickers can't do anything, which is kind of cool. But you can still set auto-clickers to a timer, so it'll click the exact second that you can fully damage. And... If you can't rod combo, you can't you can't get that first hit in a fight. You're going to have to rely on more ping. And we already know that the community's full of pingers. Because everybody's called a pinger at least once. Unless you have like 400 ping, which I have had before. It's not fun to PvP on. But um, bows, it's going to basically... Because you don't have that, that charge back on the bow. It's going to basically encourage bow spam. Um, I'm good with the bow, so I'm 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 kind of excited for that. But not for this sword. 
This sword is what's gonna fuck Minecraft PvP over in the long run. And I'm sorry, like, some people are hyped for it. I'm not. Because you can dual wield, right? And your shield's gonna take up half your view. And then you gotta do this. And your shield runs out. Because I don't know what durability it has. Let's, uh, check. Oh, oops. Wrong one. Let's, uh, I would like to take some damage, creeper. Please explode. No. Please explode. There. Okay. So now I can check the durability. Okay, so you have 180 durability. If you have a team in full diamond, because you can glitch and get that in Pro MC. You can't get it on MCSG. But say you have a full team, like a team of three in iron, running at you with their diamond swords, they're chugging their gapples, they're like, oh yeah, I'm gonna kill you, look at my clicking speed, look at my clicking macro, that's gonna time this perfectly. I can't possibly get a better time for this. And then you're like, okay, well, say I don't have a shield, and I'm in like full chain, right? Like sometimes you can take out a team like that. You're gonna be, okay, there's nothing I can do. Dash hub. That's the only way you're going to win. And you're not even going to win. Because what's going to happen is they're going to rush you. If they all have shields and you go to hit them, you're going to do that chain damage. But you're not going to hurt them if they're holding their shield. They're going to take, like, not even half a heart, possibly. Like, if they're in a lot better armor and, say, you don't, you don't have a diamond sword. You only have, like, a stone sword. It might not do any damage whatsoever to them. And they're just going to sit there and they're going to be able to keep spamming. What the heck? I feel like, oh, I don't have any arrows, that's why. Duh. Anyways, I think that Minecraft PvP is taking a hit hard. Um, honestly, one thing I'd like to have happen is for, like, them to kind of split off into, like, two different versions, I guess. Like, that's, that's something that I think would be pretty cool. Like, you split off, and then you have it so that... Basically, one portion would be dedicated to, like, MCSG and ProMC and stuff like that. Like, those servers are probably, possibly, not even going to update because the community still likes 1.7.10. They don't even like 1.8 because blocking is broken. Hit detection's weird. And then you're getting dual wielding. And whatever this bullcrap is with shields that, you know, you can't see anything. Like, how am I supposed to know? And, like, obviously, like, new blocks, in the end, there's new blocks, that's cool, I'd like to, you know, I'd, I'd enjoy seeing those in maps, but I wouldn't like to see this sword mechanic, and if servers do update to 1.9, they're probably gonna find a way, like, add plugins so that that doesn't happen, and shields are, like, nerfed or something, but, um, honestly, I don't think that this update is good for like, the PvP community, and I know, I know I might get, like, a shit ton of hate for this, right, because, you know, some people are gonna be like, oh, well, like, you're just being a complete hypocrite, it's, it's gonna be good, you know it, uh, I don't think, in my opinion, I don't think that this is going to be a good update for Minecraft, because this sword is just, <sighs> this sword is just a facepalm, I don't know, I don't like it at all. And I know a lot of people don't like it, because, sure, it gets rid of jitter clickers, because you can't do this. And kill someone in Kohi, because you got to do this. Think of, like, fights like Kohi.us, right? You're doing a gapple fight. How the hell are you supposed to win that? You're in full diamond. This is what you can do. You click like this. And you have to try and kill someone in full prot 4, 64 gapples, sharp 5 sword. This is all you can do. Because if you do this, you're doing nothing. And if they have a shield, right? Like, they're just walking around with their shield on chill. That's no damage. Because they're in, like, full prot 4. Right? They're going to be like this. This is how PvP is going to be. It's not going to be the old... Let's pull out a fishing rod. It's not going to be this. Right? You're not going to use the rod to get combos. Rod's completely useless. You can go ahead and burn 
your fishing rod. Because no one's going to be able to use them anymore. You're going to basically do this. And that is something I'm not excited for. Because that is not going to be fun. Because, you know, this. It's going to slow down the pace of Minecraft. Like, PvP in general, right? It's supposed to be, like, fast-paced. Like, raw. you're going to watch out for, like, teams of hackers and shit. And this. This. This is really slowing down the pace of PvP. Honestly, if this... If, like, servers don't find a way to kind of get rid of this stuff, like these mechanics... I'm honestly going for a different game. I'm not going to be playing Minecraft anymore. But if they do find a way to veto it, and they probably will, I will probably most likely still enjoy playing Minecraft. If not, I'm sticking to 1.7.10 modded. Or 1.8. Sorry guys, I just got interrupted in my rant. But um, I'm not hyped for this update. Honestly, like some people are, I'm not. I, I don't think PvP is going to be the same, uh, and it's not going to be the same in a good way. Wait, did I say that right? It's not going to be good. for Like, I'm not going to enjoy it. But um, if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Share it. Uh, this is probably going to be <laughs> one of my most controversial videos, because, you know, some people like it, some people don't. Um, that's it. If you guys enjoyed, subscribe. Uh, I don't, I'm not really planning on, like, doing anything out of this. Um, I do upload survival games, which is one of my main series, which is gonna get fucked over in the end. And, uh, I also upload Golden Shard 1.7.10 modded, which is <laughs> what I might end up having to stick to in the future. Um, but that's it for this video. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I can't kill this cow for shit. Goodbye. He lived. That shit just fucking lived. There we go.